alongside the past Spider Guard apparently. So let's just say I was playing Spider Guard and Mark just backed off a little bit. Maybe he makes grips in my pants from there and he passed to this side. A lot of the time when people pass to this side, there's a massive space there and he can go to Neon Belly. And the minute he goes to Neon Belly, he hasn't addressed this spider hook. And now from there I can underhook the leg, take him over, and I'll pass his guard. So, you know, we were always taught never to pass to that side. Tim Mark is um, playing a spider guard here, and he's that foot on the hip. So, um, one option that I have from here is, Mark's not letting me make grips. So another thing I can be doing is, it's all about removing the connection. He has a connection with his foot on my bicep. He has a connection with a foot on my hip. I'm gonna start backing off a little bit, okay? So we just start to back off and watch what happens. As I do that, Mark has to follow me a little bit and now I've got my grips. Now, from there, if I kind of jump back a little bit so that foot's removed, and if I come her to the wrong side, which is what we're taught not to do, and then I decide to drop into neon belly, Mark underhooks my leg, no, no, this one, bro. And I uses that spider hook to take me over and I've just kind of fallen into the trap. We're gonna do that move, but we're not gonna, we're gonna go to the wrong side, but we're not gonna do it to pass, okay? So Mark's playing the game. I really want Tori on the grip with the knees, but he's not giving me anything. So sometimes a strategy that I can use is I'm gonna start backing away from the spider guard, if that makes sense. And as he's addressing that, then I get grips, okay? Once I make those grips, okay, now it's all about, I, I can remove the one on the hip by just stepping back with that leg and keeping the grip here. The problem is the spider hook, because he's got an open elbow here. And I definitely don't want to pass to the wrong side with that spider hook in. So from there, as I back off and now that is floating around in the breeze, this here, all I want to do is straighten my arm. Now watch what happens. Um, Mark's got a bend in my arm and he's got my left elbow out to the side. The minute I start straightening my arm, look what happens to this foot. The profile is starting to remove. Once I get to there, now I'm going to use my left shoulder to smash his knees down together. Once I get his knees here and I put pressure on him, my shoulder will move up his body. And now from there, I'll be back stepping with this foot. Same um, crack as last time. I want, it, I want head control. But if I bring my arm across to get head control, he's doing his usual stuff, yes. He's got his guard back. So once I put pressure on him, this hand comes behind. And I either will win the underhook or I win the cross hook. So again, so slightly different from the last option. Okay. Ideally, I want the Tory under grips. Mark's playing spider guard. He's keeping my grips away from his pants. So he's using his spider hook to keep my elbow out. There's nothing I can grab here. And now he's keeping this hand away from that knee. So the strategy we're using now is we're just kind of backing off a little bit. Just making a little, making him think of something else. The minute he, he has to address that, I have my grips. A step back removes that hook. And now there's an open elbow there. So as I back off, I'm straightening my arm. It's all about trying to remove that profile. So I straighten it and I turn, his foot's sliding up my shoulder, and now I'm gonna use my shoulder to smash his knees together. I step over to put weight and pressure on him. Now my shoulder will move up towards his chest, and now this hand, as it moves around, and I back step around, and I'll stay control. Just use creepy so you can see, bro. We wanna keep our passes as simple as possible. Complicated passes are hard to do. So ideally, it's all about the grips that they want. Kirby's playing it right and keep this hand away from his knee, this one out, doing all the stuff that he should be doing. I start to back off a little bit, right? Now he's starting to lose a little bit of connection with me. This hand makes the grip. If I can get this one, that's good too. Just a back step removes that hook. The problem is the spider hook. 
So as I back step, I start to straighten this left arm of mine and turn my body so that he's losing the profile. Now it's all about getting my shoulder on his legs. I step over, clean into the side smash position. Once I get his knees pinned, my shoulder pressure moves up his body and this hand's starting to come around. Now it depends, keep your grip on. Depends on what he's got. Sometimes I might have to come around and as I move, that will become a grip at the back of the, of the, of the neck. And again, if Krippy tries to keep that grip, it sucks, man. I just keep pushing it that way. He's nearly a American on himself. And again, if, he, if I'm really stuck, my head's going in his throat, they just drive in. Always give them something to think about. So again, he's playing the game. So we back it off. We get those Toriander grips and we look at the pass next time. And now from that position, that back step removes that. The straightening of this arm <coughs> removes the profile. Okay? See where his foot is, he's lost that. And he's nowhere to put it back in. Why? Is there an open elbow there? I've stiff armed that. It's different if this is floating around. He makes a wee home for that again. That sucks. That's what the whole leverage of the spider guard is. Open elbows. We want to take away the strengths of that guard. So I stiff arm this, and now I want to get his knees. His knees are facing me in a strong position. I want them down there. And I don't want to use my hands because that's not efficient. So once I do that, my shoulders is pushing his knees down. I put pressure and weight on him. Shoulder then moves up the body. He still has this grip. I'm punching it behind. And then I start moving in the second try. Okay, so let's play with that one, guys. I know 